Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Welcome! And before we start, can we say, Happy Mother's Day! Day. Uh, I did a little TikTok before and I've uploaded it to YouTube as a short as well. So please share it. It's just 48 seconds uh, talking about, um, you know, the most abused mothers on the planet. This Mother's Day, which of course are dairy cows. Yes. Um, and we must never forget them. And on Mother's Day, we must think of all the mothers in the world. And so the most abused have to be at the top of our list. Although we've seen our lovely mums today, haven't we? We have. We've, we've seen our lovely mums. We've suck them some bits. It's and been some nice. Things, yes. Uh, as you do. Uh, I shout outs to everyone who's here. Um and uh, 54. I'm not sure which uh if any of our moderators yes uh, uh, are here today because we're, oh Kelly's here. Kelly's Hello, in the house. Kelly. Happy Mother's Day, Kelly. And Lauren's in the house as well. Brain girl. Uh, happy Mother's Day, Lauren. Agent Cooper's man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, welcome one and all. It's Sunday. Uh, in our neck of the woods, I'm looking out the window now, um, it's a miserable day. It's, it's raining. It's chucking again. it down again, which means our allotment tomorrow, we're going down whatever the weather for uh, for a bit. But uh, yeah, we're, we're having some drainage issues. Uh, yeah. Some of you may have seen. But anyway. It, thankfully, not in the bits where we're planning on growing stuff. No. Um, and I know we've been warned against rotor rising, but we might have to just for drainage, just some strips. Possibly. So maybe even the paths. Possibly, yeah. But we're, we've, we've done a well, lot. Anyway, we're not here to talk. We're not here to talk about We're not here to talk about that, that no. today. Lovely to see you, Ang Harad, and I'm glad everyone is wishing you well. Yes. Uh, nice to see you. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. Yes, definitely. Um, Lisa, muddy paws. You and your bloody recommendations. Wayne, oh god, it's good in it. Yeah, we're on episode six next. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah we've seen the first five, so good. And I love Boston, I love the Boston accent, <laughs> love it. So, yeah, thank you for the recommendation, Woody Balls. Yeah, it's uh, very, very great good. recommendation. Yeah, like I say, it's very violent, but character driven, just love it. Yeah, love it. Well, the um, I think I can't remember why are we here, Bromley. Well, let me just finish off on what you were just saying, Go um, on. with regards to Wayne. Um, I don't know who specifically from Deadpool is involved in the creation of it, but I remember reading that it's either the producers of Deadpool or the writers, or so it kind of comes through, it's got that kind of sense of humor about it, but also the brutal violence that goes along with it. But yeah, why are we here? Uh, Pythonic, let me just answer that very quickly. Uh, we don't know yet because we that was the last thing we did, kind of uh, forking the ground all around. So we'll yeah. see tomorrow yeah. when we go down, because it's raining again today. Um, but we'll leave that for the next allotment vlog. Yeah. Try and keep everything in their specific playlists. Today, we thought we would attempt and it will be an attempt. Um, that was always just such downplaying it. No, it will be an attempt, though, to, because it's never going to recreate that it might be better or it might be as good as, but it's impossible to recreate that taste. I'm with you. Because this is the thing we used to have when we were vegetarians. We used to make our own French bread pizzas with gorge cheese and rocket. There's a lot more goes into it than that, as we'll... We'll go through the process. Um, and of course, we've not had it since uh, being vegan. But then, because I, I used to use a soft goat's cheese and a hard goat's cheese grated. Uh, so we thought, right, why can't we try at least to recreate similar flavours just using vegan cheeses? So we've got... These two are the ones we're going to be using today. Um, we've got the Sainsbury's Free From uh, Garlic and Herb Soft Cheese and the Sainsbury's Free From Greek Style Cheese. Um, neither of which are particularly healthy, but not everything has to be healthy, does it? You know what I mean? It's not, it's not all about that today. But it's the not first that. thing we need to do is what goes on the bread um 
what goes on the bread before we uh, start placing stuff. I need to switch the oven on now, really, Jess. Yeah, preheat the oven. I'm preheating the oven so that we can actually cook one with you and not just kind of. All of our mods are in the house, by the way. Oh, hello, everybody. Thank you. We have everything. Uh, can we please have the utmost respect and eternal gratification to Brain Girl, Kelly, and Leanne, our moderators, who give their time freely. And all they've ever been given is a cup, a bloody cup, as a thank you. Love you girls, thank you so much for being here. Big time, big time. So, once we've cut our French bread, so we've bought a French, well it's actually a baguette from Morrison's, which is what we used to have. Oh, would it pause there? And I get why it was hard to describe Lisa, actually. It's a, it's a character driven journey yeah that really isn't it so yeah we've got episode six to come great actors though those two youngsters those two brothers oh i love them <laughs> I love, I anyway first. we need to stop yeah. talking about yeah, it no i have to say it the brothers lisa you know what i mean hated them at first but now they've started coming into their own so good amazing so good amazing to have twin actors that are that good so yeah if you don't um for the 120 and i'm sure there's a lot in uh with oh, us oh wow i know already I didn't even know thank you guys 121 that's yeah. amazing um if you like those vegan guys and hold some down-to-earth veganism on the reg pop out of the comments for a second give us a thumbs up it really helps with youtube it helps us get the message out there uh, and other people then find us and believe it or not, when people find us, they generally tend to stick with us. I don't know why, but it's a wonderful thing. Can you see what I'm holding in my hands? Garlic. Jibbly. Garlic. Jibbly. Chili. Right. Do you want me to do any of this? Yes, I would like you to crush the garlic. I can do With that. The garlic crushing. I can do that. And uh, and I've got you this knife to scrape off. So we're going to make the oil that we put onto the bread before anything else. Now, I'm going to add something in here um, in terms of, because it's important sometimes for me to jump in here, because many of you will know I'm just as much of an expert in the kitchen um, as Paul is. So one of the things I'd just like to mention at this time is the reason we're doing this, in all seriousness, it elevates the whole thing, doesn't it? Absolutely. Doing this elevates it. Chris, thank you. Thank you. Thumbs up to you and all, my dude. Thank you kindly. My dude. Right, I'm going to, in this little bowl here, I'm going to use my scissors, which is what I always do. These are straight out of the freezer, by the way. Keep your chilies in the freezer. They'll last months, if they last your months. Uh, do you know what? Because this is so big, Jason. This green chilli is so, so big. Mahusif, as some might say. I think I'm going to do what I used to do. Claire White. Hi, lads. Just on the way home, watching you in the car. Really didn't want to miss the live. Oh, careful, oh. love. Keep your eyes out, Rod. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. I know, but I have to say it. Yeah. It's, it's Mother's Day. It's my motherly instincts. <laughs> oh, Romany, in the house for the live stream, even though it's 2 a.m. in the beautiful Hunter Valley. Fabulous. Oh, where's Hunter Valley? I always love California. it. I love, uh, love... Or am I wrong? Have I got that completely wrong? How people join us from all over the place. Is there a Hunter Valley in California, I eh? <laughs> So Paul's chopping the chilli. Yeah. I'll give you a quick little... Seeds and all. Quick little looky at that. Now, as many of us have said before, um, this can obviously be adjusted in terms of your spice level. Your preference of temperature. Spice tolerance. And then these I will just cut in because they're quite thin. Cut them in just a little bit like that. Oh. 
Jenny, I'm so glad that you're able to watch us and I hope that you're feeling better soon. Are you know, she's not well. Watching from my hospital bed. Thanks for lifting my spirits. Oh, you're all right, sweetheart. <laughs> Get well soon, hopefully. Yes. Well, this is kind of what we're doing, Jacqueline. We're, we're just kind of making our own chilli oil, really. Garlic and chilli oil, aren't we? Yeah, it has to be because the garlic's dead. These pizzas that we used to do are kind of a mix between garlic bread and pizza on a baguette or, yeah. or a French steak. I suppose you could, if you wanted to, just have a pre-bought. Uh, I think that's what Jacqueline was, was kind of alluding to. Well, if you don't like chilli, you don't have to do this bit. You could just crush some garlic or use some garlic oil to drizzle on the bread before you put the rest of the ingredients on. But it's very simple ingredients. I have to stand up for this. Use your man hands, Bromley. <laughs> they're not man hands, they're just hands. But I take your point. <laughs> when you were a kid, general question to everybody. Did your eyes shut when someone was hammering? Mine did. Don't anymore, thankfully. How weird is that? I'll try and get that through now as yeah. well. Right, might as well. Oh, well, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Lots of garlic. <sighs> there we go, we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah. One more little bit. Oops. Tough. Ignore that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Uh, is it possible we could have some more likes so they match a little bit? Oh, Darlings. we'd love the likes to balance the scales. Close the chat, click the like button, and then open the chat again. It's dead easy. And we would appreciate it massively. Well, as we said the other week, um, particularly when we're doing our lives, I mean, we're always Thanks, appreciative. Guys. Thank you. We're appreciative of everybody that sort of spreads the word, spreads our content, shares the love. But often people come across us randomly through our YouTube live streams. A uh, question from Joseph. Good question, Joseph. And I know that it gets, uh, it can get confusing. A uh, question from a non-vegan. How do you get your protein up? Uh, tried vegetarian, it went really well. I'd love to try vegan. There are so many vegan foods absolutely stacked with protein. Yeah. Like really, really stacked with protein. What was that ready meal you had last week? There were 31 grams. I've had a couple, to be honest. Oh, it was the Aldi. Protein. Was yeah. it, it was the Aldi one, wasn't it? it was the Aldi. Tikka masala. I think so, yeah. It had like 31 grams of protein. Tofu is huge amounts of protein. Peas are full of protein. Edamame is full of protein. Tempeh. Huge amounts of protein. All beans and kind of um, legumes uh, are really, really high in protein. Chickpeas are great because, um, like, we make, make our own hummus and tuna. And we also have a recipe available uh, in our free ebook, um, Spanish Chickpea Stew. It's my take on a, on a, a Spanish classic. Uh, right. Do you see? Garlic and chilli in the bowl. Bring it back a bit. I, yeah, but it's, the, oh, it's really bright. Yes, and sorry. See it, so. sorry. Sorry about the brightness and the blurredness when it's not so bright. There's our garlic and our chilli in a little bowl. And then what we do is we... Event Jamie Vos here, don't look. <laughs> oh, dear. It's got to be done, though. It's got to be done. Uh, are you ready to chop the bread, Mr. B? Yes, I believe so. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Angela says, yes, I might have missed this because I was at the bin. Yes, cover my ears and blink still do when the neighbours are doing a bit of DIY. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Lady <laughs> Stone, <Ladies and gentlemen, laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Imran love you for saying that. <laughs> There's no exclusivity. No, I know. To the, uh, the Goonies... Uh, the Goonies catchphrase, do Fred. To, do you want to put it over here? Um, yeah, I should oh, be all right. No, I should be all right. Put it there. Uh, well, did you pass me the tomatoes, promise? 
and I can start slicing them with that other uh, knife. So I'm just going to thinly slice some matters. I might be able to do this with two. Minutes. Now you might be thinking, some of you, 149 in the house, 101 likes, loving it. We're getting there. We're getting Thanks, there. Thanks, guys, so much. And welcome to the 151 people that are here with us today on Mothering Sunday in the UK. Um, and before I forget and get caught up in all the cooking of, uh, I'm looking forward to eating this. It's been a long time. I've already seen me mum, but happy Mother's Day, mum. Happy Mother's Day, man, bro. Love you. <laughs> much love. Much, much love. Um, and I will. Uh, we, we will see you soon, of course. Um, and a quick hello to Dad, Auntie Pearl, and Colin and Brett, if you're watching. Um, but, yeah, thanks all 153 of you for joining us on a rainy Sunday up in north of England. So I'm slicing some tomatoes. Very, very thin because rather than using a tomato sauce for these pizzas, all we ever did was fresh tomatoes. I'm a lad, brothers. You're not wrong. Can give me the cardboard, but it's up to you to save up the Stanley now. Hmm. Ian, oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Great channel. Thanks for helping me through lockdown. Thanks for helping us through lockdown as don't, well. Yeah, don't forget, guys. It's I, I know that you, it's lovely when you want to say thank you to us because you appreciate us ditto massive ditto exactly the same uh we love you guys and you've helped us to get through some some real stuff some real stuff honey i want to try and get it as central as possible yeah so it's equal it's equal thicknesses the cutting is actually the, the cutting of the bread is actually the most important part of all of this. It's easily the most important part. Every day. <laughs> Whatever little task he does is the most important part. You know it, and I know it. <laughs> Now, some of you who have just joined us, you might be thinking, so basically you guys are, are, are making French bread pizzas. Yes. But trust me, when they come out of the oven, you'll see why. Unfortunately, you won't be able to taste them. Oh, perfect. But perfect, we hope that you give it a try yourselves at home. Get cooked in it, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. These are honestly, these pizzas... We used to have these once a week, didn't we? Yeah. We'd have, we'd get two of these loaves. And here's the thing, right, so here's the important bit. We used to get these loaves from Morrison's baguettes. So we went in on yesterday. Yeah. Didn't we? And we said to the guy behind the counter, could you just check the allergens on these for us, please? Because all it says on the, the thing is wheat and soya. Uh, and he checked and he said, they're marked vegetarian. And there's no other allergens other than wheat and soya. Yeah. As far as we know, that makes them vegan. And you can pretty much do that in any season. You can't mark them vegan because of how, because of the where they're made. Cross contamination, essentially, isn't it? Yeah. So I mean, if you do have an allergy to it, mind you, it didn't say may contain. He said that. Yeah. It didn't even say may contain. So anyway. Anyway. See what I'm doing here, everyone. See what I'm doing here. I'm tidying up. As I go along, tidying up as I go along. Hi, Ellie. Of course, I'm going to say hi to you because you said it so nicely. <laughs> so polite. Right, that one's going to need to go that way to just kind of. There we go. Right. Are you ready now? Uh, Joseph, um, I'm the main cook in the house, and I just came home one day and said, Jason, we're going vegan, um, and uh, gave everything away. Would would I still be 
with Jason if he wasn't vegan? It's a good question. Um, do you want my honest step? I don't think I could be. I don't think I could be. That's fair. If um, Because what would be the point? I, I'll be honest with you. I would really... I'm not saying that this is for everyone um, because obviously we're all unique individuals and we've all got different kind of tolerance levels. I feel the same, if I'm honest. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I think it would be such a fundamental clash, such a fundamental butting of heads. I would, um, I would really, really struggle with it, I think. Yeah. Difficult one. Really difficult. Uh, should we crack on? Uh, you know why, they, why it's wobbly? It's because we keep touching the table. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try not to do that. Our table is yeah. one of those fold-out tables. Um, so even though we try and stabilise it as best as we can... But it's we've a, had it so long. It's an Ikea job. And Grandad give it us. Grandma and Grandad give it us. Yeah. We've had this as long as we've been together almost. Haven't we? So we're kind of like... Do you know what I mean? It's, um... We'll try not to touch the table too much. <sighs> always difficult. Always difficult when your uh, your partner isn't uh, vegan. And I really Absolutely. do, really do empathise with those people who are in a relationship where their significant other, unfortunately, won't. I honestly didn't give Jason a choice. I came home from a day's work where I'd been caring for someone uh, with. Um, uh, autism who'd asked me could we watch Vegucated and it was my second viewing of it and it broke me no it didn't break me it reached the bits it had to reach to let me know I couldn't do this anymore mm -hmm. I could not continue eating eggs and cheese and milk and telling myself it was okay and I came home broken hearted and said Jason what we're going vegan. We we have to go vegan from this point forward. And I phoned my friend Debs and I said, come round and pick up everything that's vegetarian in my fridge and freezer. Gave her shopping bags full of food. And the very next day I went to Holland and Barrett and our life started again. Yeah. And we've never looked back though, have we? We haven't. We haven't. And why would you? Why would you? Um, Lady Stog, I convinced my husband to go vegan with me and it's been a game changer for him. Um, Sweet Pepper, I was married to a non-vegan, it was really tough. Mm, I can imagine. Um, and Pythonic, uh, how do you find being vegan in the workplace? Are colleagues curious? I'm quite lucky, uh, I suppose, um, because I'm actually, there's quite a few people in the workforce who uh, are vegan. Um, so it's not too bad. And in my last job, at Age UK, I have to give massive props to Dawn, who ran the kitchen, because she was brilliant. She, nothing she did was vegan necessarily, but then when we when we started talking about it, she it was her that introduced me to the they're not called Mayflower, are they? Those uh, the curry sauce and the gravy, Mayfield in the boxes. We, yeah, we, we, we pointed them out in our last Iceland vlog, and she was like. Paul, this grave is vegan, you know, so you can have this. And Dawn's a feeder, that's why she works in the kitchen. Um, and she was amazing. Yeah, so found it right easy. Right, we need to get on with these, so. We do, I'll just say a quick, um, uh, Sarah says, uh, my wife and I are vegan for a decade this month, no looking back, as you said. Why is someone following us? Oh, it'll be, it'll be a Muppet. Um, is it with L's number? Yeah. Yeah, unplug the phone. So many morons in the world with so little um, time to do productive stuff because they're too busy being a mess. <laughs> Oh, phone. <laughs> Need a little, bit, a little bit more oil in these, actually, to uh, to go on all, all four. Right. We're going to start the process of 
putting them together. Um, so we might want to tilt the oh, screen down, Jay. I banged my knee. Yes, there we go. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, maybe a big spoon for the actual porridge. So this is just oil, chilli and garlic. And basically what we do is this. Whilst you're doing that. Um, all the best, Jessica, um, with everything, with the move coming up soon. Thank you for popping in and hope you enjoy catching up with this later on. All the best. So we're trying to get an even mix of uh, the garlic and the chilli. Uh, Sue has asked, what type of oil is it that we're using? Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. It's pretty much all I use. When we, Although we've cut back dramatically on our oil use, you know, so many of the dishes that I used to start off with oil, I don't anymore. Fucking lovely already. Thank you, Toya. Yes, Sarah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. So if you've just joined us, we are making a very fancy vegan French bread pizzas. It is a recipe that we used to have when we were vegetarian many, many years ago. Um, and this is actually, even though we've been vegan as long as we have, this is the first time that we've actually had a go at uh, recreating. recreating it, veganizing it. Well, we've been, been that busy shuffing vegan pizzas in the spaces, haven't we? Well, that is true. That is true. Ah, oh, cycling with Russ. Afternoon, Paul and Jason. Afternoon, Russ. Hope you are doing well. Saw your last video, your first ride out post surgery. All the very best to you, sir. Uh, good sir. Right. That is them with the oil, the chili. And the garlic and then we simply lay sliced tomato across the surface hmm linda says you guys got me got me to try steam frying it's a real game changer thank you well i've got to thank him Cherbivore for that he introduced me well him and Gemma introduced me to uh steam frying yeah and uh, it is it's a game changer isn't it it is it is and tracy one of our channel members um thank you tracy uh never thought to put the oil on game changer guys looks amazing already well this is what i said at the start tracy this is just elevating something that already without doubt would taste nice it's just elevating it to be even nicer even better <laughs> Joanna says, Paul. Uh, Paul, as suggested, I bought some mint sauce for my TVGPs. Yay! <laughs> Excellent, Joanna. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, Toya, absolutely. I think this is one of the consistent themes with a lot of the stuff that we do is that you can very easily make it your own. Toya says, can you use vegan pesto instead of the chili garlic oil? Gorgeous. Yeah, bang on. That'd be good. I think we might have done that. I think we might have done that. There's a coriander pesto recipe on the channel that we used to, well, we still do a lot in yeah. summer because it's amazing stuff. Um, I can eat it just raw, but it's gorgeous with pasta, mashed potatoes on toast. I may have done because I've been making that for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, coriander pesto. Gorgeous stuff. Right. Now, uh, we need to... The camera needs to come back down. Yeah, yeah, I'll sort it. Oh. I'll sort it. Here's what you need to do, Mr. Man. My Mr. Man. <laughs> nice, easy job for you, brummers. 
<laughs> Kelly says, uh, you know it's a good butter or pizza if you can't get your gob around it. <laughs> true words, Kelly. Very true words. Girl, I can get my map around anything. <laughs> now, now. Family friendly. When it comes to food. Yes. Joanna says, love your trousers, Paul. Very funky. Cheers. Right. right, do you want me to do all of this? Uh, Should I do half of it and see do how we half go? and let's see how we yeah okay how we go from there. So I'm just gonna start with this garlic and herb soft cheese, spreading it into the tomatoes. Thusly, you know, Jason. Thusly, thusly. I hear you. I get you. And onto the bread as well, but the this grated stuff will fill the gaps. So I'm just doing that. <laughs> now, what? now, Lauren. What? You would have to bring that up, wouldn't you? When is the Jason Mushroom Challenge? <laughs> I've said I'm up for it. Hey, we've got a we'll have a chili sauce challenge coming up soon. As oh. as, as soon as I get the other two that are in our wish list. <laughs> uh, on uh, Amazon. Oh, and can I thank, please, Jessica for our rake, who I called Ruth. <laughs> oh, is it Jessica? Jessica. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica. Found her message on um, Instagram. Thank goodness. I knew it was somewhere. Oh, I am already ready for this. And we had lunch today, didn't we? We did. We had a tuna sandwich. We didn't skip. But I am I, I, I'm already very, very excited about this. Well, if it tastes even a quarter as good as what we used to have, it will be amazing. Yeah, definitely. Quite simply. It's quite difficult to grate this stuff. Because it's naturally crumbly anywhere. Isn't it? Yeah. So it kind of crumbles as you're grating it. And you've got to be careful that you don't end up grating your fingers I by think accident. most cheese does that, Jason. No, most this is... vegan cheese. Does it? Yeah. I don't think, like, the Tesco chilli cheese doesn't crumble like this. No, that's quite damp, for want of a better expression. Right. So thus, our spread with the garlic and herb cream cheese. And there's already a load of garlic on there, so it's going to be ever so garlicky. Well, it's not one, not. Um, you know what? Might be better with some somewhere. Where? Oh, I did a Chinese on that, so. Turn your paper round. If you use this proof paper, use it twice. Turn it round. I always do. Oh, I'm such, a, I'm such a skin flint, Karen. Hey, why not? Why not? <laughs> Paul says, just cover your mushrooms in hot spice. Now, there's an idea. There's an idea. Right. Okay. I think, I think there'll be enough there. I don't think we need to go OTT with the cheese. Push them all together a little bit and then they'll kind of all keep straight. Oh, Lady Stog says, yeah, we've heard this so many times. I wish I had access to UK supermarkets. The vegan stuff is not too bad here in Germany, but nothing compared to what you get in, Sains in a Sainsbury's. Grated uh, vegan Greek style cheese. Can we have some more likes, guys? 100, uh, 200 <sighs> watching and 122 likes. So, if you just close the chat for a second, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it don't matter. Although, why you would thumbs down something you watch, why you would be watching something you want to thumbs down, only you can ask your own conscience that. Hey, you know what? I've given up trying to understand people in this crazy world we're living in. <laughs> Try 
trying to kind of get it onto the bread as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly, I am. They will. I'm guarantee you. They'll smell gorgeous when they're cooking. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Well, I think you're right. This is new to us. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Joanna. Joanna says, I was telling my folks all about your allotment today. It felt like I was telling them about my friends. <laughs> well, you were. Well, yeah. I would all. We're all friends here. Oh, thank you, everybody, by the way, for the thumbs up. We are getting there. We are getting close to that tipping balancing point that uh, gives me that warm feeling in my brain when there's the right amount of people and the right amount of thumbs up. But thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. It really does help genuinely. Right, now because the salt content on the Greek cheese is really high, it's, it's actually red on the box, we're not going to add any salt to these pizzas. <laughs> but it would be rude not to add a grind of black pepper. Oh yes. Lovely. Fabulous. Are they, are they good to go then? They are. So I'm going to get these in the oven. We're on turn it up a little bit, and we'll see how long they take. Oh, thank you, Emily. Thank you for the thumbs up. So excited I managed to catch you live. I've given you a thumbs up. My sister told me about your channel last night, and I'm excited to discover you on a cozy Sunday. Fabulous, thank you. Well, I'm glad you've discovered us, Emily, and best, uh, thank you for being here. Best time to discover us on a cozy Sunday, in my opinion. Let me just wipe this table. Oh, nice one, yeah. Let me just pop that back in the fridge. Yeah. So they're in the oven. Uh, what, what temperature was it? 200? Uh, I've switched it up to 180. It was on about 160. Okay. So... So when they come out of the oven, um, the the last finishing touch for us personally, because we're recreating something something from a long time ago that we used to eat when we were veggie, we'll be adding uh, some rocket over the top. Quite a lot of rocket, to be honest. Um, yeah, can't wait. But this is the great thing. This is um, one of those things that's like, hopefully it inspires others to have a go and also um, put your own twist on it. That's That's the great thing about this. And that Debs. Sorry. And now we wait. So now we could just have a chat. Now Hiya. we play the waiting game. <laughs> Hiya, everyone. Let me just try that off the lid. It's the um, garlic and herb cream cheese. Oh, yeah. Nice. Right, we missed any questions, all right. Uh, Do you put I, herbs on your pizzas? I put garlic and herb cream cheese on it. So no, like, um, fresh herbs or anything. For us, it doesn't need it. Chilli and garlic in the oil, tomato, exactly what we've shown you. Mm -hmm. uh, and we never used to put herbs on it when it was just plain goat's cheese. Yeah, true. Did we? True, true. We just had a soft spreadable one and a hard grated one. <laughs> and then the rocket. So this might be even nicer with the herbs in the in the soft cheese, you know. Yeah. Um, and just picking up on what a couple of people have said in the comments about, like, some of the um, alternatives, some of the vegan stuff can be quite expensive sometimes. But <laughs> that's one of the reasons why we do a lot of our shopping vlogs is to kind of show you that there are alternatives out there. And also picking up on what the fabulous Kelly one of our mods has said, um, supermarkets now bringing out their own range. Um, uh, Kelly finds the vegan food much more affordable, not as cheap as the branded stuff, but supermarket own tastes just as good in the UK. I have to, I have to say that's the case with Sainsbury's, their uh, plant pioneers stuff. Um, the, the, the meatballs and the mints are fantastic. Yeah. Really good and you, less than a couple of quid. Grab that bag out that drawer, Jay. Grab that bag that I got at Morrison's yesterday. This one right there. Veganism is not expensive. 
two kilograms of dried chickpeas, two kilograms of dried chickpeas, two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. Pretty awesome. Two hundred and fifty grams, and I can make hummus, tuna, and Spanish chickpea stew with two hundred and fifty grams, an eighth of this bag. I think the thing to bear in mind, and I'm sure a lot of people have either referenced this directly in the comments because I've read a couple of them, it can be expensive to be a junk food vegan. I think that's fair to say. Absolutely, it can be. If, you, if, if you're always uh, eating uh, alternatives, um, it can, yeah, it can take, uh, it, can, it can be expensive. And if you're lucky enough to be able to afford them, good luck to you because you're still eating vegan. Uh, but um, the whole foods route, using chickpeas and beans and legumes and fresh vegetables and is uh, cheap as chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got to put the time in, do the work, do the research, connect with us and other down to earth vegans. Um, and yeah, just enjoy the journey. Think of it as an adventure. It uh, is an adventure. It though. is. Linking to that, Eileen has asked, um, any tips on beginning my vegan journey? Should I go 100% straight away or do it gradually? Thanks. I mean, I would always recommend going 100% straight away because you're diving in and and, and, it's, and it's a fun journey. Have you got a copy of our free ebook, Down to Earth Veganism? Because the, the, the start of that book is all about, and it's not hard to read, it's written by me and I write like a talk. So imagine me saying it to you. That's the important thing about so our true. book. Um, the, but the whole uh, front part of it is about establishing why, so that you keep that in mind. Why do you want to be vegan? Is it for health? If, it, if it's for your health, focus on the documentaries that focus on health, you know, or just establish that as your reasons. If it's for the animals, do it as quickly as you can become vegan as quickly as you can because i don't think i could i mean the first couple of months i made a mistake i was still having um kellogg's special care yeah for my breakfast and then somebody very kindly in a vegan group said uh sweetheart the vitamin d in that is isn't vegan you weren't to know it's not your fault so don't like berate yourself about it and you know i made a couple of other mistakes i had a no moo milkshake from holland and barrett one day drank it and thought god that's really sweet check the ingredients honey i thought because it was no moo dairy free yeah 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 you know <clears throat> so you make mistakes and then you stand up and you brush yourself off and you and you get back to it but i think the biggest tip i would give you uh is to veganize meals you already love so if you, and it says this in the book too, if you have sausage and mash every Tuesday, have sausage and mash every Tuesday and try a different vegan sausage every Tuesday. So true. And some you'll love and some you'll be like, ah, that was all right, but I'll love that one. Yeah. And then you stick with that one. So true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very true. Um, if you like a cottage pie every Sunday, make it, make it the same way, but just use soya mints instead and change your seasonings to vegan ones so if you were using beef oxo use the vegan beef oxo that they now sell at tesco's they're good real good um so yeah uh it, it's for us it's always been about changing our lives as little as possible so what we ate as vegetarians, mm -hmm. we still eat as vegans. We've just found vegan versions of it. Yeah. What I ate as a meat eater, I still eat. I did as a vegetarian because I vegetarianized it, and now it's all veganized. We still have sausage and mash, meat pies, bacon sandwiches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full English breakfast. We still have all it's just vegan now you'd be astonished at how many people um genuinely how many people message us privately um through our social media or message paul and and just say <laughs> things like thank you so much not just for the ebook but showing us that 
Um, vegan can be down to earth. It doesn't have to be rocket science. You don't need to be a Michelin star chef and prepare these glorious, fancy, Instagram worthy meals. Just pass us those three glass pots out the fridge right there, Jason. Yeah. Then, then three right there. So I did 250 grams of um, chickpeas in the uh, in the instant pot the other day. That is my tuna spread. Ooh. Yeah, it's probably better. It's actually better closer, isn't it? Which is crushed chickpeas, mayonnaise, sweet corn, seaweed, and onion. Just like tuna spread. Oh, and lemon juice. I can't forget the lemon juice. That's my tuna spread. We've already smashed half of that. That is my chilli hummus. And it's gorgeous. We had these on baked potatoes the other day, didn't we? Yeah. And then I just chickpeas I've got left for my Spanish chickpea stew. From 250 grams of chickpeas. Two years ago, I wouldn't have been doing this. It's only because of me being introduced to people. And I have to be honest, it's because of Simnet Nutrition, Hench Herbivore, the whole food plant-based cooking show yes. with Jill, um, and all the uh, all the not necessarily fully whole food plant-based uh, vegan YouTubers like Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan, mm -hmm. uh, one of our absolute favourites, and a real dear friend, Lisa the Viet Vegan. Yes, um, have all taught me so so much because I, and that's why I wrote the book because I wanted to pass on what I'd learned and how eventually easy i found it to switch our diet over to vegan and our lifestyle and to be able to you know to know that uh everything we use personal products cleaning products food has had as little impact as possible on an animal's life because people say oh well little animals still get killed when harvesting crops and we're like yeah but between 56 and 80 billion land animals are slaughtered on earth every year for human consumption what do you think they eat so if you're that bothered about the small animals because of the crops going vegan will save millions of them ah so true so true um are they all right by the way this is the shadow to my head <laughs> Sarah says, hope to buy my vegan camp out ticket next month. Also, I love the outdoors, but I'm not good with camping as I suffer with the cold. So may stay two days. Can't miss it, though. I, I, I hate cold. It weren't bad 2019. It weren't that bad, were it? It wasn't. No, it wasn't that bad at all. We had our, um, we had our cosy sleeping bags and, and uh, our cosy sleeping wear. Because it's take a jumper or something to sleep in. It's it's actually it's not bad at all. I always say the same. Now some people may disagree with me, but I just think having hiked and camped many many years ago out of a rucksack, um, camping out of a car is always so much easier. It can be relatively luxurious if you're able to go where you're going in a car. You can take whatever you want within reason, um, and it does always make things just a little bit easier and a little bit nicer yeah that's the thing isn't it linda tracy everyone who's talking right now it's uh, a, a, a although we have an affiliate link for an instant pot in our ebook and we all we, all, we always appreciate people clicking those affiliate links you don't have to have one yeah i was already doing chickpeas and lentils and everything before we got the instant pot which was a fabulous gift from may parcels quite way back now now i'd be lost without it because I can just throw dry chickpeas in there with some boiling water. 35 minutes later, they're done. No soaking, no nothing. Um, but I, I, I did used to do brown lentils, soak for 24 hours, cook for 30 minutes, you know, um, which is where I, it, how I got my recipe for um, gardener's pie, as we now call it. Uh, which is using brown lentils as an alternative to mince. So good, mm -hmm. so good, and they're so cheap. 
Lentils. Fun, funnily enough, Joanna says, since my mum's stroke, I've been making them three vegan meals a week and they're really enjoying them. Did lentil and black bean shepherdless pie today? Oh, God. Nice. Oh, do you know, Joanna, I've never put black beans in a shepherdless pie. Try that. Nice. Nice one, Joanna. Thanks, love. And Lee says, I'm only a new vegan, but I'm finding it really easy to veganise my favourite meals. That's just it, isn't it? It's, it's, and it is. It's sticking to those uh, favourite things. I still want fish, chips and mushy peas mm -hmm. when I fancy it. Thank goodness I can have it. I still want stovetop sausage casserole. You know, I still want meat pies. I still want bacon butties. I still want a full English breakfast. We can do that now. It's great. It's great to be able to do that now. And again, you can do it really cheap as well because it's like temp making your own tempeh bacon. It's, it's, it's so cheap <laughs> and it's gorgeous and all. Sweet pepper. Love car camping. Car camping is the best. Uh, Joanna says, I'm coming to vegan camp out on my own. Hope to catch up with some of you lovely, lovely people there. Absolutely look for us. You all better hug me. Yeah. I mean it. You all better hug me. Don't be scared if I cry. I cry a lot. He does. He's a crier. I'm just an emotional person. Yeah. I hope we can all hug. It's not that bad point. crying, though. Do you know what I mean? It's... Well, it's... Actually, you raise about an interesting point there. I don't know how this year's going to unfold, to be honest. I want to be really optimistic and say it'll be glorious to be able to hug everybody and yeah, have, have a really lovely time but it might be that we're all still masked it might and, be a socially to be precautious it, yeah it might be slightly socially distanced um camp out i'm not sure um but let's all keep our fingers crossed big time i'll wear a backwards clear rain mac with the hood up <laughs> <laughs> i wondered where you were going for it took me like two three seconds then and then i was like yeah absolutely that's the way to go <laughs> um, Sarah says, oh, thanks, TVGs. I will buy a good insulated sleeping bag. I don't drive at the moment, but a friend who may come is bringing a car. Great idea. Yeah, actually, that's a really, really good point, Sarah. The first year that me and Paul both went camping together, and I should have known better, really. Um, we seriously underestimated how rubbish our sleeping bags were. We had that really yeah, cheap, really thin yeah, they were not stupid, good. You need, yeah. you need, even in September, October in the UK, you need a three season sleeping bag um, and a sleeping mat um, is essential as well, we I would say. in the back of our car, you know, just put the seats down. I've never tried it. It might be possible. Imagine just throwing an, an inflatable mattress in the back of the, the back of Harriet and sleeping right. in there and then having the tent just for um, cooking and, and organising and stuff. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Anyway. Oh, Will and Chris, we did the black bean and pineapple stew last night. Bellissimo. Cracking recipe, isn't it? Straight out of uh, Hench Herbivore's cookbook, Where'd You Get Your Protein? Yeah. Um, and the only change we made to it was adding more chilli because it had a, it had such a baby's amount of chilli in it. Such a baby's amount. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anger adds life. Uh, we can't wait for vegan camp out. I will have big hugs if it is allowed. If it's allowed. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, hey, when it's allowed, I think we're all just going to be stood in the streets hugging each other for like hours on end. We'll, put, we'll probably do a re recreation of the famous 1970s Coca-Cola commercial. Yeah. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. <laughs> Alice, you're here. You're here, and you're actually you've missed the important part in terms of us, the creation part. But they're going to be coming out of the oven soon, and that's the best bit, really, isn't it? Fun times and glam times. I've seen them all, and my dear, I'm still here. Plush velvet, sometimes, sometimes just pretzels and beer, but I'm here because she said. Me. Yeah, I think you just about got that in without a copyright strike. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mikey, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Me and my girlfriend always check to see if you're, you've uploaded. I'm a joiner by trade and live just near Costco. So if you ever need wood or help, message me. I just don't roll over it, roll. You know, I need to go back there at some point, Costco. Nice one, Mikey. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Mikey. Yeah, we, we, 
we, we should, once this, once the world's back to normal. Well, has anything changed dramatically for us since last time? Are we going to justify our our uh, annual amount that we pay with what we buy it's over the year? Quid, isn't it? I can't remember. I think it was 20 quid. I just think it might be worth it. Oh, muddy paws at those vegan guys. I would love to go to camp out, but anxiety won't permit it. Oh. I think if you're not camp next to us, and we'll look after you. If you was ever going to go to any festival I guess. with anxiety, we both um, suffer with different levels of anxiety for different reasons. And it's terrible after the yeah. horror, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. with crowds of people. Do you know where I was absolutely fine? Vegan camp out. If you're going to go anywhere, that's didn't. The... I, yeah, it's strange actually. Uh, at least that I wasn't. Um, anxious at all even in a massive room full of people jumping and dancing i was like i'm with my fam here this is my family yeah you know? and it's palpable you can feel it it's, it's a weird thing to say i cried you so can much for the left you can feel it um in the air um the presence of people the community um it's a wonderful thing. What more can I say? Um, and if anybody is curious about Vegan Camp Out, um, check out our Vegan Camp Out vlog that we did because we covered it in depth. We chatted with a lot of amazing people, met some wonderful people, and I really think that we captured the spirit of we did the, festival, the, spirit of the festival, didn't we? Um, Leslie, hello, guys. Love your video. I'm watching you in the bath. Heating up after a wild swim with my daughters for Mother's Day. Oh. That's so nice. You're very brave. I, I wouldn't have done a wild swim on a day like today. Where are you um, from, Leslie? She might be in a beautiful part of the world where it's gorgeous. But there's plenty of people in the UK that stick a wetsuit on and go and do it in all weathers. I'd I, love a wild swim. I would. I, I just want to... Um, careful, Paul. I want to swim in the sea of Catalonia again. Mm. So much. So, so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to swim in a tarn in the Lake District. Well, can you do that? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not dangerous? No. Well, are some they, of them are. Are they just bodies of water that have gathered in a yeah. valley? Yeah, mountain, a... up in a mountain somewhere, yeah. They're cold. Ooh, that'd be nice. well, not in summer, necessarily. No. Well, no, it would really, wouldn't well, it? Quite a few people uh, in the tarns in, in different parts of the UK, um, because it's so secluded and isolated, they might occasionally jump in and have a little bit of a skinny dip. I did that in Catalonia in 2018. You did, didn't you? Loved it. It was very nice. I got in the sea <clears throat> with swimming shorts on and then I took them off and I threw them onto the beach. I wasn't scared. It was lovely. So we're meant to swim. Yeah. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into that, but thank you for the super chat. It's much appreciated. Well, I'm glad you survived, Yeah, uh, Peter. Um, uh, I don't think you're bad because uh, I've been a little bit fearful, uh, especially lately with all the news about a particular one. Yeah. Um, I've been a bit cautious myself. It's, uh, I think we all have to be cautious, but we all have to do what we need to do for the world to carry on. Uh, it was one here, I think. Are they all right in there? I'm mm. sorry, I'm not just paranoid. Just a second ago. Uh, Joseph says, are you guys using garden focused for planting? Um, partly, yeah. Uh, I've been on there and I've got a, a kind of, you know, a list, but that's saying like uh, not to plant until May. Mm. Um, and I think the last frost is going to be gone before then. So yeah. I, I think we'll be a little bit earlier with some things. I need to find out how hardy things are from seed, really, like sprouting broccoli and peas and runner beans and all these things, um, if planted in seed, and then there is a frost. Is that them done for? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Strangely bizarre, but also awesome. Declan's Fans 2020 official. Hi, new here. We're a boy band from the USA. We were recommended to you guys. Are you vegans? Are you a vegan boy band? Or is there, are there vegan elements within the band? But thank you for being here. Thank you. That's totally awesome. Cheers. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah's 
Chat's just done that silly thing that it does. Fife in Scotland. So great to see Scottish supporters. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. Oh. There you go. Out of nowhere. No, uh, no warning. They're just here. Oh, so I think it's good for you. Mm. Yeah, good shout. Good shout. Oh, Wastale Man Exploring Outdoors. My wife went skinny dipping in a town in the Lake District. It wasn't as secluded as we thought <laughs> when a large group of young lads came over the hill. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you've always got to be careful of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? So the trick with these now... Fond memories of Wastale as a, as a young teen. There we go. I need to get out of your way a second, don't I? I need to get some rocket. Or should I just get the rocket? Rocket! Lights in the mall, and my dear. Still here. Sorry, I knocked the table. I do apologise. Well, it sometimes, sometimes just pretzels and beer. But I'm here. Billy Blue Sheepy, very good point. Yes, indeed. What? Something to be careful of when skinny dipping in the UK. Because you could uh, potentially end up with sexual offences uh, allegations made against I you. Know. So, yeah, yeah. All, all true. Absolutely true. And all very valid points. you got to be careful out there. So, that's it. That's the actual... We'll leave it to cool for a few minutes because we don't want to scald our faces off. Um, but we used to just kind of pile the rocket on top and let it wilt a little bit in the residual nice heat, didn't we? Yeah. And I'm then excited about this. We're going to be having these for our tea tonight. Well, it's only fair that you have the biggest one. Thank you. Thank you. I want to really press mine in, actually. If it tastes anything like what we used to have I'll be very 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 happy yeah uh, Joseph funnily enough we've done a vlog about it I love it when that happens what? Um, Joseph says I love both your tattoos what's the story behind them I'm building my art sleeve of famous paintings I've got a tattoo booked for April yeah we've got a vlog um, if you just type tattoos into our channel it'll come up and it's basically um the story of when we got them, what they are, what they mean to us, why we got them. Um, it's great. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh. Um, the vegan vlogger, uh, what was the film quote you did on our on your last allotment vid about the sun? Was it Nightmare on Elm Street? It was, and I, I, I have, I'm sure I responded to the people who said um, it was it, it was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. It was indeed. It's the end of the uh, original Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Uh, snacky, whilst this is cooling, snacky snacks. Hi, I lads. Them, I wouldn't be the bright. <laughs> um, hi, lads. What's your favourite vegan meat for roast dinner? Interesting question. Snacky snacks. Um, We're not, I don't think we've, have we got a favourite? I wouldn't say we've got a favourite. In terms of like a roast. I think the turkey crown that um, Sainsbury's did at Christmas was outstanding. It really was outstanding, wasn't it? Uh, to be honest with you. Um, but like all year round? Uh, I'm, I think I'd be more, for a standard Sunday lunch, personally, I'd be more likely to go for um, a nut roast, I think, for a Sunday lunch. However, the the unbelievable alt um, meat alternatives, although they're in pieces from Tesco's. Uh, they do a lamb version, a chicken version, and a beef version. They're great. They're great. <laughs> I quite, I, I liked the vegan corn fillets when they brought them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lee, I can confirm it smells lovely here in the kitchen. It does. Um, and my stomach is, is ready. Willing and ready. Hmm. <laughs> 
Alicia, that's very true. Yes, we're going back to what we were chatting about earlier on uh, in terms of whether you jump into veganism or not. I find it so sad that non-vegans care more about their taste buds than an animal's life. It's very true. But we've got to own we've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. We were all there too at some point. And at some point, something clicked for us and we made the change. And that I know it's really difficult sometimes. I've done really angry vlogs to people saying, get a grip, go vegan. Uh, but the other part of me as well understands and just wants to urge people, please do it as quickly as you can. Michael. Every um, day you can have an impact on an animal's life. Yeah, every day. Very true. Very, very true. Uh, Michael, thank you for joining us. Um, bye bye. He says bye bye, vegan lovelies. Oh, take care, Michael. I'll see you over on Twitter. And uh, Sarah says, never tried to melt the Sainsbury spread. If delicious, I will now. Also, I love Sainsbury's Greek cheese, but there is one in Lidl that is amazing too. What a Greek style one. Fantastic. Nice I've, one, Sarah. I've also been told that the um, Via Life Greek style one is like a mix between ghost cheese and feta. So, because this is more like just feta, really, isn't it? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I mean, it smells very similar. It's really quite hot. Mm. Mm. That reminds me enough of it mm. for it to be almost, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, mm. that's really <laughs> That's really, really good. I suppose if you wanted to, it might be a little bit more messy. But just to change up the textural element a little bit, you could actually just crumble that Greek um, style cheese over the top. So it's more kind of in chunks rather than finely grated. Mm -hmm. But that is gorgeous. Mmm. That is really good. That's beautiful, guys. It really is. Oh, gorgeous. The rocket is essential. The rocket makes it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the rocket always did. So good. Yeah, it needs the rocket. It's mm. got to have the rocket or something similar to that. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, thanks for the recommendation. Um, uh, saying we should try the uh, extra special Wellington in Asda. It's the best I've ever had. We saw it, didn't we? We covered, we met, mentioned it, pointed out in one of our Asda vlogs. Didn't we have it? Did we? Did we try like three different Wellingtons or something? Mm. We might have had it. We might have had it. They're all pretty great, to be honest. We bought those uh, Chicago Town cheeseburger pizzas as well to try, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they're just filthy, aren't they? Filthy. Uh, so, yeah, mum and dad who have recently got into pizzas. <coughs> they've tried the Chicago Town stuffed crust. They've tried the ZZ's. Um, we'll let you know about these little Chicago Town pizzas when we uh, when we have them. We'll let you know what we think. Have they had the ZZ's yet? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, mum said that they'd think they'd left it in the oven a couple of minutes too long. So the crust went really hard, but the rest of it was lovely. They really enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, Lauren. Hello, both of you. Hope you're doing well. I'm only a bloody hour late. <laughs> I want more. I want to eat more. Richard. It's like the Holy Grail. There are people who do mixes. Yorkshire put mixes. I can't remember her name. <laughs> and some people have got um, recipes out there that kind of work. I was working on one not so long back and then thought, I can't be bothered. It's not that important to me. Um, but whoever does come up with a vegan Yorkshire pudding and can sell it either in a mix or frozen, easily accessible in all supermarkets, will become very, very rich. I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, Ian says, um, of course, something we're aware of. Um, the Greeks have Clean Monday tomorrow where they don't eat meat, eggs and dairy products for 40 days. Uh, Nistissima? Nistissima. Uh, I'm making lasagna bread. Lagana, Lagana bread and a Greek chickpea bake at the moment. We'll post pics on Facebook page. Fantastic, Ian. That sounds great. In fact, Nistissima is something you can say when you're in Greece. You go out to a restaurant or whatever, and they don't quite get vegan. 
Mr. Simone will do it. Mm -hmm. We ended up having a really interesting conversation with that woman in the restaurant. On our, was it our last night? Or the next to last? Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Gorgeous. Mmm. So good. Well, our best things are back on the menu. <laughs> Why can I not taste the chilli? Could it be that last night we had an incredible takeaway <laughs> from Lily's? Maybe. Maybe. And you put quite a lot of chilli in that chilli oil, didn't you? Crazy. Hmm. Ah, oh, Blue Dolphins, thank you so much. Your supermarket ones are fantastic. Thank you for making them. We love it. Especially me, I love shopping. Yeah. I love the fact as well, I've just noticed, that we've got 216 still in the house, which is awesome, and 184 thumbs up, which means we're almost, we're almost at the tipping point. That's amazing. We're, we're almost there. No, uh, Mother's Day in America is May, isn't it? Isn't it strange about different Mother's Days? Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, Holly says, mm. I found vegan Yorkshire pudding mix in Leeds yesterday. Ella's vegan Yorkshire pudding mix. That's yeah. it. Thank you, darling. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Wow. Leslie says, I think the chillies are really mild just now, even the hot ones. But we, the ones we're growing, fingers crossed, if they turn out, particularly one of them, it's like... Fruit jalokia red. I think it's like the sixth or seventh Most hottest chilli in the world. Very, very hot. The sad thing is, I just want to carry on eating these now. Gorgeous. Resounding success, mister. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, interesting, Jenny. Interesting. When you eat bread with chilies, it absorbs most of the capsicum and makes chilies taste less hot. Well, in theory, yeah. But this, this idea has been knocking around for a while that when you have hot stuff, bread, eating bread kind of sorts it out. But I think the jury's out on that, to be honest, because we've watched a lot. It's been tried on hot ones a lot. We've watched it? a lot of spice stuff on YouTube. Um, but maybe, uh, maybe Jenny means um, when you put chili with bread as a like a meal, mm -hmm. you know, when you're eating the full thing together. I've seen a few times people have done like hot sauce challenge or something, and they eat bread afterwards to kind of try and help themselves. Uh, Pauline, yes, we are a few miles outside of Manchester. Can you tell by the accent? <laughs> hmm. Uh, yes, we will be going, but I've got my seeds already, my uh, rocket seeds. Tried growing it here last year and it didn't grow so well. But I had it in, um, you know, like a wall planter that you hang on wall out in the back garden. Didn't do so well. I'm hoping it'll be better this year because rocket, I love rocket. I don't know, why are you mentioning the rocket? We should mention about the spring onions. Go on then. The spring onions that we put out last year, they didn't do a thing, really. They were the tiny little shoots that shot up that were all dead thin and rubbish. We just left them. Now, all of a sudden, they seem to be becoming proper, legit spring onions. And we've just got them in a basket hung on the wall outside. Well, it's supposed to take a while, though, aren't they? Garlic onions and spring onions are, the, are, are yeah. like, the, you know, they take a long time to grow, apparently. Um, interesting question there from Lady Stog. Um, you might be better to answer this one than me. Uh, yeah. My hubby asks, what vegan food you would recommend for people who are on the road all the time? It's a really interesting question, <clears throat> actually, Lady Stog. It's a tricky one, that, isn't it? Um, I know what my obvious go-to would be. So you can't use a microwave even, can you? Or if you, is he like a van driver? Is he, uh, has he got a microwave? Because he's finding some incredible frozen meals at the moment in the supermarkets like really good even nutritionally yeah and they're a couple of quid um 
Otherwise, you know, uh, I'd, I'd make stuff. You take homemade a couple of days a week, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I think... if I do lentil gardener's pie, I do. I do it big enough so that we have it for our dinner. My mum gets a portion for her dinner because she loves it. And we both have a lunch portion. So he takes it to work and warms it up. You take Spanish chickpea stew mm -hmm. to work. It depends on the setup, Very. really. Like, we've, um, you know, uh, when we've had those conversations in the past with Wayne, who's a, a truck driver, a delivery driver, and he's like, he cooks in his cab. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole section of YouTube devoted to truck drivers that come up with all kinds of weird, wacky and wonderful things that they've cooked in their cabs. Um, so, yeah, it's a tricky one. It depends on the setup, but it should be possible. My go-to would be noodles and other types of noodle type things, um, which just require hot water often and can be jazzed up quite easily. Um, so, yeah, good question. Tricky question. Sandwiches in a cup of soup. Sandwiches in a cup of soup. Whoa. <laughs> we used to love that for lunch, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Sarah says, my wife now uses the word addendum like it's going out of fashion, <laughs> lol. <laughs> and Joanna says, uh, the vegan vlogger, plethora is my new favourite word. I think you used it about four times in the last vlog. Oh, I, I, I used plethora a plethora of times. <laughs> Do you read that? Uh, Sarah, I'm waiting for my missus to get a mohawk because she's transforming into Paul. <laughs> Bless. Not such a bad thing. Maybe she will learn to cook. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. I need to get this up at some point. If I've not had it up for so long, I'm going to miss it. Oh, Jacqueline. Ah, uh, are we? Well, are we growing radishes? Well, I enjoyed them last year. We've got the room too, so we might as well. They can have a little corner in their little corner. We don't eat a lot of radishes. We, we said when we had them. Yeah, but we, we they were in every salad. We want to grow. We want to. It's two pronged, really. In, in my humble opinion, we want to grow stuff that we eat a lot of. Um, so like salad stuff, lettuce, tomatoes, berries. Fingers crossed. Um, but also, we want to grow some stuff that's a little bit out there and maybe isn't that easy to find in the supermarkets. Hence, um, trying out with the chilies, because the chilies that we're growing are not chilies that you can buy locally. So, yeah, a um, bit of both. Oh, he's in hotels all week, working on projects, uh, and he doesn't have a microwave. But he has access to a fridge. Okay. So, like, um, that's doable. Yeah, because one thing you could do is uh, cold pasta salads. Even cold rice salads, you know, just you've seen you've seen our meal vlogs. So I've got dead adventurous at the moment with um, with rice and veg, doing these different mixes and adding different flavorings and stuff. Um, so a nice pasta salad, you know, make a nice pasta with some crunchy veg in there, and then add some mayonnaise, some fresh chopped onion, some fresh herbs. Let it go cool. Whack it in the fridge. You've got a beautiful dinner there. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to get really organised, insulated freezer bag with some ice packs, a few of those um, containers that we just showed before that we put all our stuff in and store in the fridge, pre-made stuff at home that can be stored in the fridge in the hotel that will easily last a week. Yeah, it's definitely doable. Definitely. I've never had pink hair. Get this. Uh, it's my least favourite colour. I know. Massive gay, campers row tent, <laughs> proper feminine, and pink is my least favourite colour of all colours. I don't know, pink and gold are kind of quite close. There's pink, and then is it magenta? Is that like a type? Have I got that completely wrong? Isn't magenta, or am I thinking of a different one? What's the like the really vivid pink? It's still pink, but it's like it's a different name. It's got Cerise. That's <laughs> it's pink, isn't it? It's quite dark. I don't, so I don't mind a really vivid pink, but I don't, you know, like just the sort of neutral standard shocking pink. I think you really love. Could be. Um, Graven, you missed it. You missed it, the pizza. Sadly. The exclusive reveal and the stuffing of the faces. Alice is outraged that I don't like pink. <laughs> And Level Joy says, bonjour, bonjour. Thank you for joining us. 197 thumbs up, 220 in the house.
can we level it up? Anybody that's watching that hasn't given us a thumbs up yet, it would be delightful if you would take a couple of seconds to pop out the chat, give us a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get it to 220. Thomas says fuchsia. You might be thinking of fuchsia. I think you're right. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, just like a really vivid pink. Yeah, really vivid. Vegan something I thought hot pink as well. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. 11 away. Yay. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Thank you so much, everyone, for the thumbs yeah, up. It, it really does help. It really does help. That's the only reason we ask. It's not to feed our egos. Honestly, you know that. It really helps us get the word the out. Algorithm is the, it's the is. YouTube robots. We've got to try and speak to the YouTube robots in a language that they understand because they've made up their own language. We can't understand them anymore. Does anybody remember that? Why was it last year? Wow. That, that AI program. They, I think it was. It might have even been in, even here in the UK. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me. Slight digress here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Should I have another half here? Yeah. All right. Um, so the AI thing, um, somebody switched on an AI program, um, and before very long, the AI, they all st the robots, they all started talking to each other, and then they created a language that the humans couldn't understand what they were saying. They had to shut the whole thing down. <clears throat> oh, Leanne, bless you. Thank you so much for being here and helping out. All the best to your mum as well. I can I can do it if you want me to do it manually. Yeah, it's a bit of manual focus, isn't it, on that camera? Go and have another bit. I hope you don't mind. Then we're going to save them two hours for our dinner. Um, Where is it? I moved it. Where did oh, it's here. Ah, hmm. oh, two hundred eighteen in the house. Two hundred nineteen thumbs up. Yay! Thank, Thank you, you so much. You wonderful people. You really are brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Lee, I think I said on Twitter a while back, you two inspired me to go vegan, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You did, Lee, and I've been following your journey and retweeting you and all your meals and stuff. Amazing. Brilliant. You should follow Lee and support her on her journey on uh, Twitter. Same name, Lee Hallow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Ashley, that's lovely of you. Wish Mama Brom and Joan, sorry if I spelt wrong, a very happy Mother's Day. Well, I've said it now, and Mum will be watching, so I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Thank you, Ashley. Hmm, <laughs> Yellow Submarine, first time seeing you two. Two love hearts. Well, thank you very much. I take it that, that I mean, that's a good sign, surely. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's just delightful, isn't it? Delightful. It is better, to be honest, if the rocket goes on when it's still really, really hot, fresh out of the oven, because it wilts. No, no. No? Try. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be the judge of that then. I'll be the judge of that right now. That's like... Mmm. <clears throat> mm. I think the rocket cold and crispy. The pizza is still warm. Beautiful. You might be right. Oh. This is really good. Next time I do this, I'm, I'll, I'll try the BioLife um, cheese as well and see if that one's any better. But this one from Zerntas is perfect. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we've done this and veganised it. Yeah, I can't believe it took us this long. I know, because we did fried a sandwich straight away, didn't we? We've always been bread, bread folk. Stuff on bread. We're northerners, true yeah, northerners. True northerners, in every sense of the word. Uh, Yellow Submarine, do you guys dig the Beatles? Big time. I don't think I'd play guitar if it weren't for the Beatles. Truth be known. Yeah, I don't know. We had Here Comes the Sun playing at our wedding as we walked in. Yeah. Here comes the sun, little darling. Yeah, amazing. I'll tell you what I didn't know, though, and cor please correct me if I'm wrong, because I've only read it from one source. John Lennon. Mm. Heroin. 
Yeah, I could be wrong on that, so please don't quote me. But I read somewhere the other day that in the later years, um, that obviously the Beatles didn't get on as well towards the end. Really some quite, uh, you know, um, horrible arguments. Songs written that were kind of having digs at different members within the band, um, both Paul McCartney, George Harrison um, and John Lennon all wrote songs having a dig at another member in the band. Yeah, it got pretty nasty towards the end, which is really sad. Really sad. But I can understand it as well. <laughs> Vegan something. Jason, I learned to play guitar from a Beatles songbook as a kid saying, so nice. So, so nice. I'm going to carry on with this. You, you're right, by the way. You're right about the rocket mm -hmm. and the temperature. Yeah. Be absolutely beautiful. Guys, cannot recommend highly enough that you try this. Just get your baguettes from Morrison's. Follow the steps. Oil, garlic, chilli, fresh tomato. Your choice of vegan cheese topped with... Um, it doesn't have to be we just wanted to replicate the gorge cheese and this is not a million miles away it's really good it really is it really is but you might prefer a cheddar type one or a you know a chili and jalapeno cheese or a smoked yeah uh thank you vegan something for uh for, for uh, picking up on that and thomas yeah you're absolutely right it's becoming a catchphrase of mine it's because there's so much contradictory information online sometimes, even when you're looking at quite reliable sources. I always panic and pa get paranoid that I'm, I'm saying something out of turn. Um, don't quote me on that. Jason, every five minutes. <laughs> mm. This was a good life. Mm. And these have worked out fantastic. Ah, oh. as long as you like crunch, which we do. Mm. <laughs> oh, vegan rich PT, I'd welcome for that. Totally. Peanut butter and beans on toast. Why, why the hell not? Sounds good. I'd give that a try. Yeah. yeah. Jam on a crumpet, though. No. No. You said no about jam on crackers and then you had one and you're like, it was all right. Yeah, but it was all right. I was still a little bit weirded out by it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Absolutely spot on. Mm. So good. Give them a try, guys. You won't regret it. Yeah. Give it a try. Put your own spin on it. And, um, yeah, let us know how it turns out. If you take a picture of it, you can tag us on whatever social media platform you would choose. We would love to see. Yeah, because you don't have to even use oil. You could just use uh, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But then it's kind of really going in the realms of kind of pizza territory, isn't it? Yeah. But that's fine as well. This is like garlic bread pizza. Yeah. Oh, so good. So, so good. Garlic pizza. So what we'll probably do with the rest of it in a bit is we'll probably have it with a nice glass of red. Mm -hmm. So nice. And the other great thing, not a ridiculous amount of pots either, which is nice. Not got any washing up to do, any significant washing up to do. That's always a bonus. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Well, I knew there'd be somebody that would back you up on the uh, jam and crumpets <laughs> thing. Nice one, Alice. It's just not for me. I can't. I I can't put set sweet on what in my brain is defined as a savoury product. But I know there's loads of people out there that put chocolate spread on crumpets, jam on crumpets. I'm just wired weird. Oh, that sounds great, Sarah. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm really pleased <clears throat> that we did this. I am. 
it's going to become a regular thing, I think. Yeah. When we say a regular thing, we mean maybe once a fortnight, once every three weeks. Because that's what we we kind of do, don't we? we? There's certain things we've got on rotation, haven't we? Um, we have a Chinese every two weeks. Yeah, it might even bit. it might even be depending on on what other stuff we're eating. It might even be every three to four weeks, possibly. But it will become regular in our rotation now, won't it? Absolutely, it's too nice not to. Mm -hmm. It will go just. <laughs> Ashley says, "I'd eat anything on crumpets at this point. Sat here with rice cakes and green tea." I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I need to pain. get back into me matcha. I've got two jars of matcha over there. I need to get back. I was having one a day when I was on my health kick. Well, I'm glad Lady Stog agrees with me. I'm totally with you, Jason. Sweet and savoury don't go together. <laughs> I suppose a lot of people would say that a crumpet is technically neutral in terms of it can go either way, I suppose. A bit like a pancake. But, yeah, just playing devil's advocate there. <laughs> Vegan Rich, PT, you're filthy. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Gross and awesome all at the same time. <laughs> well, I think, unless I'm very much mistaken, we will be wrapping up fairly soon. Um, we can get on with the rest of our day. Um, we've got another busy day tomorrow. Um, hopefully some more filming. Another allotment vlog on the way. Tomorrow. Um, tomorrow at some point. And there might be a meals vlog later on. I'm not sure, but we, there are four. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. There's bits, isn't there? There's a lovely little bit. There's a couple of lovely little bits to include, isn't there? So, so maybe the lovely little bits that we include in the next meals vlog will compensate for the fact that there won't be uh Jason's lunchtime taste test. Meow. And for anybody in the house who doesn't know what I just did, you'll have to watch our meal vlogs. It's another one of my crazy little jingle creations. Yeah. Those vegan guys and that one. I was like, it's, it's in my head already. This is it. Sing it with me. I should have worked in a jingle factory. Yeah. Uh, Lauren says, what are you both up to for the rest of the day? Well, interesting question. Very interesting question. We just uh, This evening we're going to watch another episode, at least, of Wayne. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's brilliant. Is it on Netflix or Amazon? See, we get everything through the fire stick. I think Wayne is on Amazon. And what's that other series we started watching? That's on Amazon as well. We oh, uh, Soulmates. Soulmates, yeah. that's a weird series. It's good, though. Good, though, yeah. It, in the in the kind of Black Mirror genre. Yes. That kind of thing. But what else we will be very doing? Good, very good, very Well, we've just downloaded a game. We mentioned this on our um, vlog to the day. We've just downloaded a game called... What's it called? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Um, which had a load of rave, then a load of flack, and then the, the uh, game producers have revamped it. And it's been kind of re-released. Uh, and it's downloaded and it's ready for us to have a look at. So we'll be doing that. We'll be chilling out. We'll probably both be having showers because we haven't this weekend. Stinky, filthy men. We Gross. Um, we'll be having North pizzas for our dinner this evening with a lovely glass of wine and maybe some side bits. I'll leave that up to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what we'll be doing for the evening. Um, so, yeah, playing a game, watching some stuff, maybe watching a movie later on, chilling out, spending some cuddle time with Isis, uh, cleaning up. That's one of the great things about doing these lives with all you awesome people on YouTube is there ain't no editing to do after this. I don't have to sit and edit. Do you know what I mean? It's there. It's just there. It's done. Done for everyone to see. Yeah. So there you go. Let's just catch up with the, um, the chat in case there's any final questions. I just wanted to highlight that because it's really nice. Hi from two long-time vegans who found you recently and fallen in love, Harry and Kip. Oh, hi, Harry and Kip. Thank much, you. Much love. Glad you found us. Stick with us. We're all right. We're all right. Yeah. For the most part. We try our best. Mm -hmm. I've got a rocket in my teeth and I love it. <laughs> oh, Joanna, that's nice. Had a lovely time. Thanks all. Love to you all.
Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. We're all caught up. So, massive thanks to our uh, moderators. Girls, we love you. Kelly, Lauren, Liam, thank you, thank you, thank you for always being there and always making sure the chat runs smoothly and getting rid of the assholes that none of us have got time for. Quickly, quick. We love that. No thank mess. You. Thank you so, so much. <clears throat> thank you to everybody. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for just coming and spending some time with us. <laughs> thank you, Blue Dolphins ASMR. Thank you. Massively appreciated. You've all been awesome. Not only have you all been awesome, you've stuck around for the whole time we've been here, over an hour and a half. Um, you've given us the thumbs up. We've got 237 thumbs up, which has exceeded the people in the house. It's a wonderful community, um, and it's a pleasure to be here chatting with you all, eating lovely food, and spreading a bit of vegan love uh, from us northerners over here uh, to you all over, wherever you are. And, world. of course, hopefully we've inspired you to make some French bread pizzas for yourself, but put your spin on it and make them yours. Yes. Um, and hopefully enjoy them. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Mia got her mug on Friday. Yay! <laughs> That's a nice one to end on, isn't it? Absolutely. Right. Thank you, everyone. Um, we'll see you again very, very soon. And uh, we love you. Uh, and until we see you again, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Love you. Love bye. you. Bye, loves. Bye, loves. Bye, loves.